Okay, today I'm outside this property behind me. This is where my property journey started. I bought this property a couple of years ago and today we had to do an inspection for this property. So I thought, let me come down and actually do a video and give you a quick run through of what the numbers were and what was the situation behind this purchase. First of all, this property is in South Shields, which is in South Tyneside in the northeast of England. Uh, I was based in London trying to get into the property game and I could never find the kind of deals I was studying through my property courses within the area I was living. So one time when I was visiting family, I decided to look at some, uh, some properties in the local area and then I went to the local auction and that's where actually I picked up this property. I actually wasn't looking to buy this property because I had a few other properties I was looking at that I thought I could add value to. The issue with this property, it did not have a lot of things to be done to it. It was perfect condition, it had a new carpet, the walls were great. So I thought, you know what, what's the point of maybe buying this type of property is maybe it might go for a higher price. But it actually turned out that the property did not sell and the property I wanted to buy it went over the price I was aiming for. So the lesson there, when you are buying from auction, always look at all the different properties within your price range within that catalog because you will never know on the day of the auction what you could pick up as a bargain. Okay, let me just run you through the numbers for this particular property. So the purchase price was 66,000. And in addition to that, you had some auction fees as well as some legal fees, which came in at about 2,000 pounds. And then in addition to that, this property was perfect. There was nothing wrong with it. The carpets were pretty new. The walls were recently decorated. Uh, so it was sold under market value because it was a repossessed property by the bank. So therefore, you were, I was getting a bargain because they just wanted to get rid of the asset. So all I had to do was furnish this property for about £2,000. And you don't necessarily have to go out and buy new furniture for a property like this. You can find good second-hand pieces that you can put together with some new pieces and actually make some great furnishing. So in total, 70000 was the total spend, including furnishing for this property. And six months later, we were able to take this property and refinance it at a 80% loan-to-value mortgage. And we got a valuation of 90 21,000. So that was an extra 21,000 of equity created not by doing anything, just because the property deal uh, was great and the prices worked. Okay, there are three primary ways you make money from property. One is the rental income that you receive from the property. Two, if you sell the property and you've created value from it, you might have uh, a profit you can take from it. Three is when you refinance the property. Uh, and this is the key process that I take with most of my properties. I buy it at a below market value, add value where possible, and then you take it to another lender who's able to give you a new valuation for that property, which means that you can actually potentially take the equity that you have gained out of that property. And that's the example we have here. We bought it and refurnished it for a total of 70,000 and the new valuation was 90,000. So with a mortgage on 80% loan to value, the new company is able to give us 72,000 uh, pounds out of the mortgage. So therefore, it means that we can actually get all the money that we had put inside the deal. And that's an example of what's called the bra model, where you buy, you renovate, you rent it out, and you refinance it. Uh, so you have to use these strategies as part of your journey and find ways create income streams, whether it be through renting, through selling, and through refinance. Okay, the great thing about this type of property investment is the rental return. The yield on it is considerably higher than your normal yields within the country. Because for a property like this, you are buying it all in for 71000 but you are receiving 8400 per annum gross. So that's a yield just over 12%. Uh, and that's without refinancing it. But on this particular strategy, once you refinance, 
you actually pull all of your money out so your return and your yield is ultimately infinity. So that's what you have to look at as part of your investment strategy, finding where you can do deals like this that can give you an infinite return.